welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join my journey. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be finally talking about everything that people have been asking me in the past few months. I'm finally going to be talking about my wedding planning and how I've been coping so far and why I think it's important to start planning as soon as you get engaged. Right, let me quickly just say to you guys why I think it's um, important to book, um, start planning as soon as you get engaged and then I'm going to go straight into what I've been doing and what I've booked and the next steps that I might be taking. Right, so my first tip into why. Why, why, why is it important to start booking things and looking at things straight away after you get engaged is because, guys, you never know the day of tomorrow and you never know what might come your way to stop certain planning happening during the way. And also money-wise, guys, you need to know what sort of budgets you need because a lot of the things you want to book do ask for deposits and you need to have these in hand to book what you want on the day you want or else you're going to lose that and i'll explain to you guys why down the line because it nearly happened to me and Ivan. so quickly just to remind everybody i did get proposed to last year in 20 on the 25th of may 2019 me and even decided to not get married this year and to get married in 2021 because it gave us enough time for me anyways i want to enjoy this process of being engaged i want to enjoy all the planning i don't want to rush into anything because it just makes things so much more stressful so and obviously money wise guys we had to have enough time to save up for the wedding we really want to have so that was another reason why we wanted to wait about two years which will make that next year so also luckily we actually did not get married this year because of lot most of the weddings have been postponed which actually i wanted to quickly say to everybody that got their wedding postponed to all the amazing couples that were going to get married this year my thoughts go to you guys you must be so gutted i know i would be and yeah i don't know how you guys must be feeling but stay positive your day will come a little bit later but it will come guys i promise you guys and okay so let's go in straight away to the first thing that i actually booked and why so i got proposed to it in may in july i straight away start looking for venues I am getting married abroad in Portugal, so it does make the planning even harder. The reason why for this is, yes, we are in the 21st century, and yes, there's a lot of technology that can actually help us stay in contact with certain things. However, for those people to reply to you, it can take forever. I think it, for us to just get into a date of the wedding with the venue, I kid you guys not, it probably took a good two to three weeks in communication back and forth because i used to reply they used to take like two or three days to reply i used to get petrified because i thought in those two three days someone else could have booked it so it was really really stressful but we managed to book a date which is the 21st of the 9th of 2019 so it will be in august in summer which i'm super excited about and how did i come to this conclusion so guys i did not dream or think of how many people book their wedding so in advance like i was actually shocked when i asked them to send me dates that they had in august 2019 they had four dates four dates that we could choose from the whole month i was so shocked and two of the dates was a saturday and we wanted a saturday so we were very very lucky very very lucky and actually one of the dates we wanted actually got booked and then we had to choose the remaining Saturday that was left, which I actually like the date, the 21st of the year 21st. It's just, it's just really nice. It goes. So um, it was meant to be, as I say. And yeah, so that's the date we booked, guys. I'm super excited. The venue is absolutely stunning. We went to see in August. Um, it was the first venue I looked at actually online and it was the first one I chose. I actually did that a lot with a lot of things, to be fair, but it was the first one we chose. The minute we went there, we went there twice once with my parents and the second time with my parents and Evan's parents. My dad was not bothered. He was like, yeah, it's pretty. He didn't mind. Evan's mom really loved it. Dad, his dad as well. And my mom and my sisters just absolutely adored it. I loved it. I'm not going to lie. It's absolutely beautiful. It just fits really well. You know, it's one of those venues that are so 
big but small at the same time i can't explain it it, just, it would just keep your guests nice and compact i didn't want a venue that was too big where your guests were so spread it out that they couldn't really communicate but guys, I will say though, please, please, please make sure you look at the capacity of the venue you like before you book it. A lot of the venues that I saw amongst when I was seeing the one we chose didn't have the capacity um, to hold all the guests that we wanted. So me and even have quite big families. If you did see my previous video on the 10 facts about me, you will see that my family is really, really big. And um, yeah, I had to make sure that the capacity of all my guests would fit in that venue and the venue we chose it does I think it even goes a bit over and I don't really like weddings when people are just like when you're sitting at the table and you feel so like squashed I've gone to weddings that this there's so many people in them the venue is so small and you feel bad to even go to the toilet because you have to go through so many people so I didn't want that I wanted space I wanted to yeah I just wanted space inside the actual venue um on the outside it's just big enough to have everyone really compact and to communicate together which I'm really really happy about I also booked on the same um time roughly center on the same day that I saw the venue we actually went to see a photographer and we booked that photographer the first one I saw the first one I communicated we booked it straight away what he had to offer was amazing we could not say no to the price he gave us as well was which was absolutely stunning price i'm really happy with it for both things we did have to pay deposits the, we had to pay deposits guys that's why i'm saying to make sure you start booking early because even though these deposits do go to your final pavement you still need that money and yeah the earlier you go and the earlier you know how much you have to pay you can save up so you can really fight for that date that you really really want so yeah guys make sure you start planning as soon as you can i've got actually got a book with little notes because I don't really want to forget anything and stuff so also another thing that I did is we did have our engagement party done in October it was beautiful I loved every bit of it guys decorations were stunning my friends did it all as a surprise they could have not done it any better it was just the way I've always wished my engagement party was and yeah it was really beautiful we was actually not going to do one but then um i thought you know what why not i think it would be something really nice and it was a beautiful day so i have no regrets in that i also had a party with my bridal shower so with all my bridesmaids i asked them to be my bridesmaids in a very special way i um blew up my own balloons um i put a little picture of me and the bridesmaid inside and then I wrote a cute little note where at the end it said, will you be my bridesmaid? So that note that I sent to them, they all read it out loud to each other. And I think it was really nice because with every single one of them, I've got a story. I've got a bond. Um, with all your friends, bonds and stories are different. So it was really nice. I actually made one of my cousins cry. <laughs> she actually made all of us cry. But it was a very special moment, especially for me, because they all know how much I've always dreamt to be a bride and to get married and the fact that it's actually happened really melts my heart and makes me feel very very special which i'm really happy about um so yeah i did get those two things on i also went to a actual wedding fair for me i feel like it was a bit of waste of time because i am not getting married in the uk so a lot of the stuff is basically like things that you would use here i'm not getting married here again i'm getting married in portugal so it was a bit of waste of time the only thing i said that really really helped me was the, um, I actually saw a dress that I really, really love um, online and the only store that actually had this dress, there was two stores that had this dress, but one of the stores was so, so far that I was just not looking forward to driving that far to go for the dress. So the one where I actually went to see the dress was actually at this fair and they were able to explain to me exactly what happens because it can get a bit overwhelming and confusing to a lot of brides what exactly steps you're meant to do especially when it gets to your wedding dress she did say to me that the dress i liked would probably come out of stock in january i was so gutted but she then did say to me why do i just not go and see it you never know like you can completely fall in love with it or you can completely hate it because in pictures is one thing and obviously when you try it it's different so i did go guys in november i went to actually see the dress and guys I can't even explain it. I try to think about four or five dresses. I don't really remember. And guys, the one I liked that I saw online was the first one I tried. And I'm not even kidding you guys. All the dresses that came after did not even 
look the same and you know what was actually funny normally like when you try your wedding dresses you have to get them pinned or maybe sometimes they're too small because obviously they only have one size for you to try the dress that i liked was actually my size guys so i saw it fitted on me perfectly and i kid you guys not i was so in love with that dress the first time i tried it was a bit overwhelming because it was the first time i tried in a wedding dress so it was like oh my god this is actually happening but then when i tried it i tried all the other dresses and then she said why don't you just try that one on again and guys when i came out oh my god i was just so pleased with it it's so beautiful but i think what made it more for me and made it shout out more for me was when she put my, the veil on when she put the veil on it just completed the look and my friend done my hair up really nice that day and oh, i can't even explain it guys my cousin actually took little videos little clips of it actually even though you're not allowed guys you're actually not allowed to take pictures or videos of the dress you're trying on you can only take it when they've once they've ordered it and your actual dress comes however my cousin managed to take little sneak peeks i do have them on my phone and no even does not see it and no he will not see it <laughs> and no i won't be posting up pictures of it but i go and see it like when i'm just bored i just go through my phone and see it and every day i'm falling more and more in love with it guys so I did say yes to the dress in November, guys, um, with my godmother, my two sisters, and my cousin, Anna, before when I did not take my mum. She was really gutted with me, but she is going to see... The reason why I didn't take my mum, guys, is my mum is a very... A person that gives her opinion a lot and i just wanted that moment to be me choosing it i do sometimes go a lot through like when people give me opinions i do go a lot through it and i didn't want that to actually intrude in the dress and in that moment so she is going with me however to try it on um my dress has arrived i haven't been able to go and see it and try it on because of this crazy pandemic we're going through it but they did say that hopefully in september I might be able to go and try it on so i am taking my mom she is going to help me choose the veil because i haven't chosen that part so she will have a special input in it oh sorry she will have a special input in it um but now that the dress is chosen no one can change my mind and i think my mom will love it anyway so it doesn't really matter um but yeah so my dress is chosen guys for a lot of you that have been asking me yeah it's done it's dust is out of the way a dress is important for me yes but for who knows me i think a big part that's important for me is my hair on that day as well i mean obviously we all love the dress experience and all of that but guys i think a hair the hair look actually completes your look a lot that's what i look at a lot when i go to weddings i look at the bride's hair like even if the dress isn't obviously a dress i would wear the hair sometimes i'm like wow that hair looks so good like i don't know what it is with me and hair but um yeah i'm just like that I think I'm going to have more troubles picking my actual hairstyle. I've gone through so many guys so far that it's actually quite hard to pick one. But when it gets to the time, closer to the time, I'll actually go and do that. Another thing that I've been, that I found very hard, guys, and I do suggest, like, if you're having the same problem as me, start looking for it as soon as possible. Um, my bridesmaids are all different shapes and sizes, guys. So to find a store in, the, in London that actually has like those sort of different size bridesmaid dresses is very hard everything is online and it's quite annoying because for a bridesmaid dress i think you physically have to see it's just like choosing your wedding dress you don't really choose your wedding dress online so that really confused me but i after so many months of researching um, i actually found this store in croydon that i was actually meant to go and look at in march yay much just before the lockdown but i could not go because my dad did get really really sick he went into hospital and my head was not there so i had to cancel it we did not manage to reschedule because obviously the week after the lockdown happened and everything closed so hopefully i will be able to rebook for september but that place is really good guys because you can pick a dress and they actually measure it to your bridesmaids which is really really good all my bridesmaids are happy with that because they're all completely different and it's always nicer and more comfortable to wear a dress that actually fits you perfectly well that day is mine yes but my bridesmaids mean a lot to me and i want them to feel beautiful and stunning just like i'm going to feel on that day so they their opinion really matters to me i know a lot of people are like oh i'm the bride i choose 
yeah you can do that if you want to but i also think that these people are taking their time to make this day special for you as well so i really think it's it's good that you think about them as well a little bit and obviously if they're your bridesmaids i'm sure they mean it means that they are a big part of your life so you do want them to be happy on that day as well you want them to be comfortable so yeah take in consideration um your bridesmaids ideas bridesmaid um dress that i'm actually looking at is quite different to what a lot of people are used to seeing in bridesmaids um i don't know if i'm going to be able to get that i might not i might just have to stick to the typical <laughs> bridesmaid dresses but um fingers crossed that i will find that and yeah just to make it that little bit more special and obviously to go with basically the thing that i've chosen that's also another thing that i kind of chose really quickly me and eva and we both looked at certain things we had in common so we could make a theme in common and we actually chose one a very beautiful theme a very amazing theme i'm super excited for that as well so um yeah we did get to do that that's another thing we did quite early color scheme is chosen as well um which i'm super excited about and yeah pretty much a lot of things have been picked it's just actually getting it in picture and in real life i think that's the next steps so looking at some um groomsmen um suits um even actually asked his groom groomsmen to be his groomsmen by a text a very funny text though guys i'm not gonna lie it was a very nice text that he sent to all of them which was really really nice so um that's the way he did it cheap and easy to be fair mum was really cheap and easy as well it was all done by me and my sister i did not order anything apart from obviously buying the balloons and stuff everything else was diy from my sister chris because she always has amazing ideas so yeah another thing that we actually done really recently about two weeks ago we actually decided on an invitations guys honestly it actually took quite a while to choose it because i had something in mind to go with the theme but then we realized that you know a lot of people well my mom and his mom didn't really like them and to be fair it was good that they did that because it made us actually go and search because we were so quick to accept everything first these were the first sort of invitations we saw so they were going to be the ones we picked but actually even has a friend in spain that actually does these stuff which is really really nice because it gives that touch to your wedding a little bit more special when it's someone doing something for you that you actually know it gives it that touch which is really really nice so he's actually doing our invitations we went there last august we did see one there which we absolutely loved and we were like yep this is the one we want um however after because it was so early to start choosing and everything we left it till a few weeks back because we was actually going to go in august and get all that sorted again but because we're not really sure if it's going to happen and i do need invitations quite soon because uh, a lot of my family members live in other countries so obviously sending it all over to other countries and stuff like that a lot of people because of work need to know as well so i do need them done by the latest december this year um which i think will be kind of a perfect time so we have chosen them they are beautiful they are going to be done basically by scratch so all the design that's going to be on them is going to be done by scratch it's going to be even's friends basically ideas obviously we sent him sort of the theme we want and he's basically just going to implement it in the invitation the invitation is really beautiful i haven't seen an invitation like that as well till now so it's going to be something different and also um another thing that we actually done was our favors we actually chose our thank you gifts which is also another thing that i have not yet seen in a wedding and they are absolutely beautiful stunning i love them and i can't wait to show everybody to show you guys as well like how they're gonna look and yeah that's another thing we picked so big stuff have been officially booked big stuff have officially been but um chosen like my dress so now it's all the other little bits and bobs, but obviously for because of this pandemic, we might not be able to go in August, which is a shame because um, I was actually gonna book a lot like hairdressers and stuff like that. And now that a lot of weddings got postponed, the hairdressers are even gonna be double booked for next year. So that's gonna be quite tough. But I know that everything happens for a reason and I will find, I've already got some in mind anyway, as you know me, always searching. I've got some in mind already, prices as well. So it's just really going there and officially booking it. So fingers crossed. 
no one books the day and I get them um, for me and yeah so guys I think I've covered all of it I just want to show you guys my cute little book that my sister actually got me and I write inside like all my little stuff like I wrote my venue and my photographer we also got the contract that we actually signed with the venue because you do have to sign a contract obviously to say that um you're gonna pay the deposit and da 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 and how much it's going to be per person and all of this and all of this nonsense so yeah got that all in that book i do have to write more in here i just don't want to destroy it like it's so pretty and i just feel like i'm going to be writing stuff in there and then it's not really going to be um yeah um done properly so um but i will be writing more in there for sure so yeah guys that's all for now that is literally the planning i have done so far if you are planning your wedding congratulations and yeah guys this is a very important part for me I, I will be doing more videos on this topic about my wedding i think i'm gonna have it done as like episode so this will probably be episode one and i will be letting you guys join me in different um videos when i go and choose my bridesmaid dresses when i go and i don't know to portugal to book everything at the at the venue i will be taking you guys with me i promise i won't show you guys too much so that i can leave a bit of surprises for um next year but yeah i'm super excited to let you guys see this journey with me and see my experiences i really hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment share subscribe if you have seen this video till now leave a heart comment section so i know that you will be um seeing all my other videos of my wedding and my wedding planning and yeah guys thank you once again so much for um seeing my video and i see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>